Well, this might be the last little bit of decent weather we have, I think. So, might as well use it. And uh, I think we're going to do something a bit different. I think we're going to melt down a little bit of aluminum. So first, I've got to go get some aluminum. And I got plenty over here. I think we'll tear down a few of these engines for some aluminum. Should be plenty here, so I'll load some up and uh, take them back to the shop. Start stripping them down. All right, got a couple of engines loaded up here. Should get us a couple of pounds. Let's get them back to the shop and get them stripped down and see how much we can get out of them. Well, it took some doing, but I got about a half a dozen engines pulled apart here. As you can see, I got a big pile of steel and, and plastic and junk here I'm not going to use. And then a nice little pile of aluminum. I'll have to uh, bust up, I think, these bigger pieces to get them put in the crucible, but that should be fine. It should be enough to keep me busy for a while. And I might as well show you my, uh, my burner here pretty simple it's just a old helium tank with a couple of pipes uh, kind of goober welded on there no special arrangement air and oil goes in there burns inside and then the heat comes out pretty simple and here's my tank it's an old lawnmower tank with some hoses running down to an old faucet and then uh, this part is just a piece of pipe going into another piece of pipe here where the oil goes in and you can see that kind of poking out there so the oil gets in there and then I put a shop vac on the other end and uh, I get fire so let's go out and look at the actual furnace itself and of course it had to snow last night hopefully it's not too cold for this thing to work the oil gets a little thick when it gets cold out but we'll give her a try hopefully she'll light and keep running but this is the furnace just an old uh, old uh, boiler here got for scrap and uh, it already had fire break in it so I pretty much left that alone and yeah I stick my little burner in there and it heats up and I got a piece of cable I throw on top to keep the heat in and then this is a crucible I made holds probably about 20 pounds pretty easily of aluminum and uh, made that out of an old air compressor tank just cut the top off and put a bolt in there so I can pick it up and a little uh, latch there so I can pour it so we'll fill that up with aluminum and then uh, put a cover on it and it should melt pretty good so I guess all we got to do now is see if we can get that thing to fire up and start melting some aluminum maybe some snow all right I think we're just about set up to see if we can get this thing to light I've got an oily rag in my tank and a couple of pieces of newspaper and then I've got a piece of newspaper with uh, some oil on it on top we'll light that shove it down see if we can get it to go and then I'll have to take it off and hook it to my air and uh, hopefully it'll take off
our crucible and then uh, start melting some aluminum. All right, got some aluminum ingots I want to remelt. Some crap here that I spilled a bunch of slag into, so I think we'll throw those in the crucible first. Yeah, a couple of good bits of crap in here. Yeah, why not? It'll all melt anyway. Yeah, grab some of my new aluminum. Get that in here. Pistons. Well, that ought to be enough to get us started. Throw it in the crucible and let her melt. All right, got my crucible in there. Just toss this piece of K-O-L insulation in. Help hold the heat. And then uh, throw the lid on and let her cook for a while. Well, as you saw, it's kind of a pain to get lit. pick up some more scrap so not going to be able to melt everything today maybe tomorrow will be nice plus I think there's weather rolling in but now that that's all soupy I think we'll uh, pour it out and then shut it all down come back to it another day Wasn't, wasn't quite two full bars, but not too bad. We'll shutter it down and maybe do it again tomorrow. Alright, I'm back from my little scrap run. A little bit colder today, but let's check out the ingots we made yesterday. Yeah, maybe six pounds. That one's 
probably bigger. That's probably eight or nine pounder there. But we got those melted. I still got a pile to go. So I think uh, I'm going to see if I can fire this thing back up and start melting the rest. And we'll let that heat up while I unload the truck. Well, I got her rolling, but she's slow to melt today. Part of that's because it's uh, kind of cold and windy, and that oil can't flow in fast enough to really feed it, so it's running running very low. I'm not getting the flame I want. And the other part of it's my furnace is kind of falling apart. You can see the chunks of brick there off the bottom, and my KO is falling apart, so I just shoved it to the side. I'll have to get some more of that. I suppose in the spring, I'll have to, uh, have to maybe go over this furnace, get some refractory in there. And I'm melting big chunks of aluminum, that don't help, so. We'll let that cook, it's melted down. Probably, I filled it twice, and it's melted it down, so we'll wait for this thing to kind of melt down, and hopefully it will. And then uh, I think we'll pour. All right, we got a nice little puddle going now. It's about mm, halfway full. That ought to fill both of those, so. Go ahead and get ready to pour. Make sure there are no chunks in there. Yeah. We'll give her a few more minutes. Let some of that stuff kind of melt down. I think this might end up being the last melt here of the season. Pulled the crucible out, and uh, there's a big old hole in my furnace, <laughs> which not a big deal. I melted probably oh 150 pounds of aluminum in this thing, plus whatever I've got laying here, and it finally gave out, which ain't bad for something I pull out of the scrap pile. And since it's going to get cold, I think I'll. Uh, I'll wait till spring and I'll fix it. I had this lifted up so that I could put these bread pans under there and just toss in aluminum and there was a little hole in the bottom and it would drip out and it worked okay but it would get clogged up with crap so I ended up building a crucible and uh, it was maybe a little heavy for that open bottom. Alright I poured these last two ink it's about an hour and a half ago but they're still a little warm I think so you will toss them into the bucket here and let them cool off all the way. Not hot enough to sizzle anyway. That's good. There we go. Yeah, they ought to be cool enough to touch in a, in a minute or so. And then we'll get them weighed up see what we got. Alright, let's see what the final tally is. See how much we got out of here. Yeah, one more. 31, almost 32 pounds. Not too bad. Not as much as I wanted to melt, obviously, but I'll take it. And then uh, come back next year and have an even better furnace. 